Have you ever looked in your closet full of amazing clothes and thought, I have nothing to wear? Me too. Well, if this is you, I'm gonna show you a way that you can digitally archive your entire wardrobe and plan outfits so that you can get the most wear out of all of your clothing. Hey Creative Beauties, today we're going to be talking about digitizing your wardrobe. So if you're new, my name is Christina and I want us to live our best life. This year I wanted to improve my style, my overall mental well-being, my health and everything, and basically what you would call a glow up. And today's topic is a new optimization that I found that I wanted to share with you all and it has baffled me why I did not do this sooner. I've always wanted to digitally catalog my entire wardrobe ever since I saw that scene in Clueless. But it always seemed daunting and I would need a folder to organize everything, but I finally did it this weekend and it was the best decision I've made in my life. So first off, why would you want to digitally catalog your entire wardrobe? Maybe you have a big event coming up and you're looking at your closet and you're like, oh my gosh, I have nothing to wear. And you know that that's not true. Maybe you just don't want to buy new clothing or you want to get more creative and inspirational with your outfits. Or maybe you're like me and once you love an outfit, you just keep repeating the outfit over and over and over again. I find personally sometimes when I'm sifting through my clothes that it gets super, super messy and it overstimulates me. And then it becomes not as fun of an activity as I would like it to be because I want to get the cute outfits, but it just takes so much work to pull everything apart, to try everything on. And I love Pinterest. I love making boards. I love collecting things. I love seeing everything at a glance. I'm also very Virgo energy. I love being organized. So this little excursion was perfect for someone like me. I'm also going to New York Fashion Week this month. And instead of buying an entirely new wardrobe, I knew I had some pieces in there and I wanted to be more conscious of what I own. And also maybe you're just not getting a use of the pieces that you own. Maybe you have something that you really love, you think it's super cool, but because you know it's sitting in the back of your wardrobe out of mind, out of sight, you're not really styling it the way you should be. Also being able to see everything at a glance in my wardrobe without having to sift through it physically, there's just something so nice about that. So now that we have the why, let's get into the how. I've seen a lot of different creators use this application and I thought to myself that I also wanted to give it a go. I set aside an entire Saturday to try it out and give you my honest thoughts. The app I use is called Index and there's different things that you can do with it. You can of course archive all your clothing, but you can also book stylists on it. And if you want in certain cities, you can also get a person to come to your house physically and take photos of all of the items for you. I love the lookbook section. I think I might explore it in the future because it's a really fun way to get some of your favorite content creators, favorite stylists to style a few looks in ways that you may not think of. Okay, so starting out, you're going to have to take photos of all of your clothing. And although this may seem daunting at first, it was actually really fun. So put on your favorite podcast because it's going to be a few hours of this. In their services, they say that it takes around five hours to chronicle about a hundred pieces. And I wanted to beat that record. Of course, I am not folding it as neatly as their professionals are. I still wanted it to be nice and crisp and pretty. So here are some tips and tricks that I found while using the application. First off, the UI is really easy to use. All you have to do is take a photo and I'll remove the background for you. If you ever use Polyvore, and I might be dating myself right now, but it was such a fun application where you can create your own little outfits, but this is even better because it's out of everything you already own in your closet. So starting a new task may feel a little scary sometimes. And what I'm gonna tell you is that you just start and go for it. The first 10 that I did actually took the longest because I was trying to get the folding right and I was trying to get a feel of how I wanted them all to look. But trust me when I say this, you're going to be archiving a ton of pieces. So I would say go as fast as you can while still like trying to get the best quality photo. There's two options when you're digitizing your wardrobe. The first option is that you can take all of your photos first or you can use the camera in the application and I'll go over pros and cons of each. So the great thing about taking all the photos at once is that you can be very consistent in your lighting. You can set up your little tripod. The thing that I personally found made it a lot faster was that while the app is loading and you're digitizing your outfits, you can then start folding and prepping your next outfit. So it's like a little assembly line. And I actually found that taking the photos in the app or uploading as you go was faster than taking them all at once and then archiving them afterwards. And it's because there's a few seconds in between when you're uploading that it has to remove the image. 
And if you're hyper optimizing your time, I do think that taking the image and then categorizing as you go versus taking all of them at once and then categorizing at the end is the way to go. Oh, and one thing that I should note is that don't worry about the size and the crop of the image because as someone who is extremely type A, this drove me nuts. Um, I really wanted to scale the top so that they would be to scale, but what it does is it actually looks at the empty space around your clothing. So depending on how you fold your clothes and how much space that it takes up, you might have a gigantic shirt or like a really tiny camisole, but honestly, don't worry about it. If you try to make all of your clothes exactly to scale, you're going to have a really hard time, at least if you're operating for speed. I would also say that if you want to, you can steam your clothes. I started steaming my clothes in the beginning, but near the end, I was just like, we gotta, we gotta get to the finish line. Another tip that I have is to work on a table so you're not hunched over. If you've ever done prop styling, if you ever folded a lot of clothing at a store, been prepping a lot of stuff, you know that once you're hunched over, your back kind of hurts. And this is fine if you're doing this for an hour or so, but if you're doing this for four hours, your back will really thank you if you work on a table. I will have to preface that there are a lot of items that will need to be on a floor just because of the space, um, but I would do all of those at the end. Another tip is to fold the item so that it resembles the shape of the body and how it would drape. So I noticed this as I was photographing a lot of my skirts that they all kind of look the same after a while. They just kind of look like, you know, a rectangular piece of cloth. But when you wear the outfits, they don't really drape the same way. So if you have something that usually cinches around the waist, I would actually fold it so it kind of cinches and you can see it a little bit more. And I also noticed this, especially with dresses, I would actually kind of drape the dresses how it would look against the body. Another thing that I had a little bit difficulty with is getting the white balance correct. Depending on what you're shooting on, for example, I shot against this wooden texture. Um, some of the items would kind of make the white balance all weird in camera. And then as a result, the colors didn't look as accurate as when I was looking at it with my eyes. So check the color of your items after you take the photo. And a quick way to remedy this is to take a photo of the item against a different background. And then for shoes, I actually found photos of shoes online and accessories I did as well. So now that you're done cataloging your entire wardrobe, this is the fun part, which is making the outfits. I had the best time doing this and the experience of cataloging my wardrobe from my phone made it so much more fun to come up with creative outfits than trying each piece on one at a time. I also love that I was able to make outfits in bed. So instead of doom scrolling or, you know, doing something really unproductive, I felt as though I was I don't know, being very creative and I loved having access to my entire wardrobe um, just from my phone. <laughs> so you have a canvas and what you'll do is you'll drag and because the background is already removed, you can like stack your pieces. Oh, and the thing that I love is that there's a little calendar so you can plan your outfits by the day and it has honestly made making outfits so much more fun for me. As someone who has difficulty using things that aren't in my line of sight immediately, this has been an absolute time saver. And it also made me look at my wardrobe and realize that I have gaps of items that I would want. For example, I really think that I should probably get brown boots because as I was making outfits, I was like, oh, this would look so cute with brown boots. And then it made me also realize that I have way too many this style of like white frilly blouse and I don't need to buy another white blouse in a while, I think. I think I'm also going to buy one of the styling lookbooks, so follow along if you want to see that one. Thanks for watching and if you love hosting dinner parties, pretty things and glowing up, please follow along.